G A drone here, check it out. Long range FPB. We have a Cyclops DVR that has an SD card in it. It's just like a mini AIO. But if you follow the wires, bam, it goes that. That's an 800 milliwatt um, transmitter. There's the little antenna off of this. And that blue battery that's directly in back of this is uh, what is going to power all that. As you can see, there's a little cut in the stock mount right there. I don't have the screws in, as you can see. It's very tight fit. I don't need the screws in. That way I can pop this up, put the SD card, pop it down. And then this little button is what starts recording. When this is all connected together, I go through my FPV goggles, which I'm going to be using the FX goggles with a cell phone attached to it. We're going to be using the jumper. And uh, hopefully this goes well. So uh, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. So this is being recorded via my cell phone, OTG to the cell phone, uh, and everything is set up on the FX goggles that I can wear my glasses in through. I'll have links down below for that stuff. But anyway, the reason that I put a notation in the beginning of the video to watch the entire video is because this setup is not the best setup. It's not bad. I'm going to show you it's not bad. It's not bad for mid-range. Um, but we were going for long range. I have an 800 milliwatt on here. I have gone uh, farther which I'll show you here. We'll show you the max range. Um, I've gone farther with a 200 milliwatt AIO on the top of uh, one of these drones. So an 800 milliwatt should go a lot farther than a, than a 200 milliwatt. But what I'm showing you here is we're getting static already. We're getting static and we're going to go ahead and turn around. We can go further than that. We will go further than that. So stay with me. But the main issue with this setup, the setup that I just showed you in the beginning is that it actually affects your controls where i have this mounted it's mounted right next to and almost on top of where the antenna goes into this little silver square um and right now you can see a bucking the bucking anytime you see this buck isn't me getting jittery on the controllers it's this drone not responding to my controls and losing connection briefly for a brief second it loses connection um, so I don't suggest you doing this setup exactly how I have it. The reason that I did this setup the way that I had it was to be really conformed looking, um, to be a stock setup. That way it doesn't look too modded. The only thing you were able to see was, uh, the little camera sticking out of the grill of the bugs or uh, this actually F100 bugs three clone sticking out of the grill and the antenna sticking out of the back. So with that being said, you can see we are going further. But again, I've taken a 200 milliwatt out this far. Um, we're getting a little fuzz. We're going to continue to keep going just a little bit further. And it, it, it gets a little bit fuzzy. And right now I'm losing my controls. I'm losing my controls. That's not good. I know the jumper is good for longer range because I've had stuff out longer range. So now I'm really fighting to get this drone back. I don't want to have to walk out here to get this despite the fact if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I walked much further because we took the drone much further and uh, we also had issues with the second setup. Um, but we recovered that drone and I have a conclusion to all of this on how the perfect mount setup should be and uh, I did it on one of my other drones and why I didn't think to do it on this drone is beyond me maybe I did it on the other drone by luck and you can see this bouncing all around that is loss of control from the drone to the jumper and again the jumper I have the jumper on the highest milliwatts the jumper has gone out further so it's my setup that's messing with it and the second flight will show you guys that it was my setup that was directly messing with my controls so again the beginning of this video I'm going to to reiterate it one more time do not set it up like I have it it looks good it looks really good you could barely bam jumping all over the place and now we're close we're 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 like 300 meters away from myself and we're close and I'm still losing control of the drone slightly I get fortunate I was able to grab it back fortunately I was able to fight it back um, so don't do the setup like this wait till the next part of this video I'll show you a better way to set it up but even then watch the entire video um, the second part of the video, I'll show you a better way to set it up, but it, it, it is not the best way to set it up. Right now, we're just going to screw around. We're just going to uh, kind of burn the battery here, do some FPV flying. The first part of this run was to uh, do range run, and I, I've gone as far as I'd like to with the way that this is set up now. Is it max range? No, it's not max range because we just need to move stuff around a little bit. We need to get that receiver off of where it is. Um, so again, stay tuned, but here we're, we're just going to rip around. So hopefully, uh, you like some little FPV footage here, like a little running on FPV. We'll start running up and down the roads and whatnot. 
and we'll do a light altitude climb. I generally don't do altitude climbs in FPV just because I'm a newbie at it. Yes, I said I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. I'm not perfect at all this. I'm not a pro at all this. I'm learning as I go and I'm trying to teach you guys uh, as I go as well. That way, any mistakes that I encounter, maybe you guys can avoid doing it and uh, keep yourself from walking almost a mile out to recover your drone. Spoiler alert. Stay tuned for the end part of this video. I walked just about a mile out to recover my drone. You don't see it, but you will see the flyout. You will see the flyout, the turnaround, and the drone uh, get dropped down. And that's actually where I had to uh, get it. But again... That's all entailed in this video. This video was testing. It was raw testing. It wasn't, eh, and there, flip it back. That's me losing controls. It wasn't just, hey, I'm going to fly a drone. I'm going to record it. I'm going to post it on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. Whoop, whoop. No, it's not that. I, I, I'm, again, trying to do stuff because the stuff that I used, and again, I'll link the Cyclops camera. I'll link the 800 milliwatt transmitter. I'll link everything down below. So maybe you guys could click on it. See if you want to get it. This stuff's cheap. It is really cheap. Um, but so you guys know how to set it up, what the best setup is. Because uh, there's a lot of guys out there that don't explain a lot of stuff. And it, uh, it, it really bothers me that they're not explaining a lot. They're just like, hey, look at me. Look what I can do. Well, yeah, I can do that all day. I can do the look what I can do. And I'm just trying to show you guys the goggles that I'm using, the FX goggles. OTG setup on the outside cell phone on the inside. That's what's recording this. Um, but yeah, look what I can do. And then not really explaining this. I have a couple things coming in that uh, will get explained really, really well. Um, I, I think uh, I think a lot of people like some of the stuff that I have coming in and stuff that I paid for. Uh, I don't have a lot of sponsors. I have some sponsors. I don't have a lot of sponsors anymore because some of the sponsors aren't too happy with J Drone. They're not too happy that I tell it how it is and I don't sugarcoat stuff like uh, a lot of the other reviewers do that are in it just for the almighty dollar. I'm in it for fun. Um, the, the, this We did the range run. Now we're just buzzing around here. Now we're FPV flying for fun and also to show, show you guys what this is capable of. And the setup, which is not the best, is good for minimum range. It's good for medium range. That's what this setup is good for. So uh, that's that's where, where you're at right here. We're, again, we're just burning down the battery. I'm using a 3,000 milliwatt um, Eng Pow battery, which is considerably larger than the stock battery. It's almost double the size, um, if not more. I think the stock battery may be like 1,800, so just shy of being double. We'll link that down below too. Lots of links down below just for you to check stuff out. I don't... It, and. When I got a link down below, I'm not saying, hey guys, I'm J Drone, buy from that link. Absolutely not. I'm just showing you what I'm using. By all means, Google is your friend. Google what I got linked down below. If you can find it cheaper, why not buy it cheaper? Generally, I show you Banggood or one of the Chinese sites that's really cheap, or I'll show you um, Amazon because Amazon ships quick. They ship quick. So for me, when I'm paying extra on Amazon, as opposed to be going over to Banggood, Gearbest, RC Moment, whatever, um, that's I'm happy to pay a little bit more. So as we sit this down, I'm just going to show you the environment here. I'm not really able to walk. This is all a sheet of ice. I'm actually dragging my feet, keeping myself from slipping. All right, we're going to go to the second part of the video. All right, guys. So for me, that was unacceptable. Um, I think the issue was right here, that black wire that's coming off of there is actually your antenna wire and that's where we had this essentially sitting was almost directly on top of it um not directly on top of it we had it back here a little bit and it was overlapping i think it may have been interfering with signal because i kept on getting twitching we almost actually lost it at one point so what we've done we have the same setup in front Although I've ran the wires underneath, there's a little plug that you can pop out there. And now we have this on the bottom. Hopefully that won't interfere with signal. We're going to give this a go again. Um, I was fortunate to save what was on the SD card. Two of my programs wouldn't play it. I have it saving in Filmora. 
Um, otherwise, we would have been out good footage. But the footage that I've seen off of the Cyclops camera um, looked really good. So that's good. Um, I'm not thoroughly impressed by that yet. Um, we had breakup when I don't think we should have had breakup. But then again, it could have been because it was so close to this. And I believe that has something to do with your antenna because that's where the antenna wire goes into. Um, at least that's the way it looks. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That putty and that black wire. That's your that's your drone antenna. So we're going to give this a go. As I told you guys, we were going to wait on the clean footage from the Cyclops. That's your main image. Bottom left is what I showed you in the first part, which was our uh, OTG to cell phone. We're going to go straight out. As you're going to see, we're not going to have any issues going straight out. Bottom left is my FPV uh, footage in my goggles. So as you, you'll notice, it doesn't break up the entire time out here. Uh, so we, we have a better setup. But it is not the best setup. Stay for the whole video. I promise you, you want to stay for the whole video if you're going to try to mod the Bugs 3 or anything similar. Antenna placement is key. You can see everything we're flying over to. Me showing you how I was walking or I was just shuffling my feet trying not to fall. This is all ice. This drone is going out. We are going out far. We're going to continue to go out. Check out the bottom left. We don't have any breakup. Um, the thing that we failed to do was antenna placement. The first one was horrible placement for the transmitter and everything. The second one, the transmitter's placement was okay, but the antenna placement wasn't. It's good going out, but turning around, the drone's going to completely block it. As you can see, bottom left, it's getting fuzzy. It's getting fuzzy. It blacked out. I'm almost blind. I got it back. I'm almost blind. Um, so this is not the best setup. It's a good setup for running out, running away from yourself, but if you have to fly back towards yourself, it's not good. It got to the point here, guys, where I had to sit it down, and I said, sat it down um and it was a long long walk out and back to retrieve this drone i'm trying to gain my bearings i'm trying to look around trying to figure out where i am i finally killed throttle and then we when we get down here you can see the motors are still spinning we shut off the motor so after the longest walk of shame you can see really long walk out really long walk back not fun i think this is the way to go um, it was on the bottom and the antenna was essentially the same way it is, but there, and then on the turnaround facing myself, it was getting blocked and I snowed out and that's why we crashed. Um, by luck, I guess I did it on the bugs too. The bugs too, I've had this set up on there. It's been on there forever since I traveled route 66 since before then. And I've got epic range with it with very little snow, even on turnarounds. And I think it's because the way I have the antenna. Um, so we'll have to try this uh, maybe tomorrow with the antenna like that and see how it goes. Uh, all right guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. This is, we, we try things, we're, we're feeling things out. I'm no genius. Um, I never claim to know everything. I'm not that, hey, I know it all, do it this way. No, it's trial and error with me. We started with it on the inside, uh, with it barely sticking out here and then kind of in the same direction out the back and it was messing with our controls actually because it was sitting on top of that silver thing right there which is what your antenna plugs into so it was messing with my controls that i was getting limited range um we moved this to the bottom i'm recapping for you guys didn't mess with the controls at all we zoomed out we zoomed out but on the turnaround i lost my video so this i think is going to do better i think we're going to be able to go out that far and turn back around with zero issues guys if you haven't subscribed please do smash the thumbs up questions comments concerns down below get at me bing hit that bell if you're subscribed to get notifications later